Welcome back to another Latilides tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make vinyl disc like this, in three completely different ways. The first method is very simple and only requires a few steps to be able to create a simple vinyl disc like this. The second is a little more realistic than the first one, and the way to make it is also simple and easy. And the third method is more realistic. By the way, don't forget to like, Share and comment if you have any questions about this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. And if you are new to this channel, then you must subscribe and turn on the notification bell, because you can find many great Adobe Illustrator tutorials on this channel. Okay, let's jump to Adobe Illustrator. As usual, create a new document with RGB color mode. We start with the first very simple way. First of all, Create a circle as the basic shape of the vinyl disc that we will make. Select the ellipse tool, and left click anywhere on the artboard to open the ellipse panel. This panel allows us to create circles with numbers. Fill the height and width with 360 pixels, and click OK. After that, set the stroke to none. Left click the stroke box on the toolbar to activate it. After that, select the small white box below it with a red slash. Its function is to remove the stroke or outline on the object. Then select the fill box opposite the stroke box. Double click to give it a color. Select black in the color picker panel and click OK. Place this circle in the center. You can use the horizontal align center and vertical align center in the control panel overview at the top right here. Make sure that align to artboard is active. Next, we will create a small circle in the middle of the existing circle. The method is the same as before, select the ellipse tool on the toolbar, and click anywhere on the artboard. Set the height and width to 120 pixels, and click OK. Also place it in the center using the align tool, and color it with yellow. For this smaller circle, it is usually used to place the album cover illustration. For this tutorial I just made a text illustration just to save time you can make something more beautiful in this section. Next, create another circle using the ellipse tool, but this time I will create the circle manually. After the ellipse tool is active, press and hold the Alt and Shift keys on the keyboard, and left click on the middle of this yellow circle while dragging the mouse out. Release the left mouse click after the circle size is like this. Remove the fill color, and apply white to the stroke. I think the cover is pretty good. The next step is create the vinyl stripes. There are several ways to create such a vinyl stripe pattern in Adobe Illustrator, the first and most common use is transform effect. First, make a circle with a white line. Just like before, use the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift and alt key on the keyboard. Start drawing in the middle of the circle. Make the circle a little bigger than the yellow circle. Change the stroke weight to 0.5 points. Next, we will duplicate this circle using a transform effect, so that it forms a vinyl stripe pattern. Open the transform panel on the effects menu. Distort and transform. Transform. Put a check mark in the preview, so we can see the results live. And what we are going to do in this transform effect panel is increase the scale to 101% for horizontal and vertical. Then multiply it by increasing the number of copies by 100. That means we multiply this circle by 100 times and enlarge it by 101%, and we will get a result like this. Next, we just give it a gradient color to impress the light reflection on these vinyl stripes. Make sure that the stroke box is above the fill box, so that when we work with color, it will give the effect to the stroke. Open the gradient panel, or you can find it in the window menu and search for gradient. Okay, in this step we give gradient color to the line. As you can see here, by default we will get a black and white gradient like this. If we just use this gradient color and look at the results, it's close to what we expected, but it still needs a little adjustment, so we can get a more satisfying result. Okay, now we are going to modify the color of this standard gradient. For this black color stop, I gave it a little dark gray color. We can get the color quickly by double clicking on this color stop. And the color swatches tab will appear. Here we can choose a color that is already in the color swatches, which is the default color. But if you want to make a custom color, you can click on the color tab above the swatches icon. 
and you can choose a coloring scheme on the menu button over here. Back to color swatches. For this vinyl design, we only need a grayscale color. So in this swatches panel, we only focus on the selection of the grayscale color group at the bottom. And for this color stop on the right, I will give it a grayscale color that is close to black, but not a solid black. And for this white color stop, I'm going to give it a lighter gray color to represent the reflection of light. The next step is to adjust the position of each of these color stops. For this gray color stop, I will position it in the middle of this color annotator. After that, I will add one more color stop at the far left of the color annotator. You can click in the area where you want to add a color stop and when the plus sign appears on the cursor, you can click there to create a new color stop and color it. But I won't do that. Instead of creating a new one and resetting the color, it's better if I just duplicate the existing color stop. It will be easier and faster. The way is to press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard, plus click and drag the color stop that you want to duplicate, point to the end of the color annotator. This saves time and takes less effort than creating a new color stop. The rest, we can rearrange the position of these three color stops to get a narrower light reflection effect. In addition, you can adjust the angle to add a different impression. You can set it manually by hovering the cursor over the angle number, and scrolling with your mouse, or, by clicking on the drop-down menu to open an existing angle selection. Finally, we just need to add lines that impress the distance between the tracks on this vinyl. Draw another larger circle. Select the ellipse tool and point the cursor in the middle. Press and hold Shift and Alt key on the keyboard and start drawing the circle. Set the stroke color to full black. Now, we duplicate it using the transform tool. Reopen the effect menu. Distort and transform. And click transform. Set the scale to 125%, horizontal and vertical. And copies to 3. Click OK. Finally, enlarge the stroke to 2 points. And we've finished creating this very simple vinyl. But wait. I almost forgot something, the original vinyl should have a hole in the middle, so we have to make a hole in the middle of this vinyl using clipping mask. Make a circle that is the same size as the vinyl body circle, with a size of 360 pixels. Create another smaller circle with a size of 15 pixels. And put this small circle right in the middle of the big circle. Select these two circles. Then select, Shape Builder Tool. Press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard and left click that small circle. This makes the small circle erased and becomes a transparent hole. Copy this circle. In the Edit menu, click Copy. And don't paste it yet, because we don't need it. Lift this circle right above the vinyl, place it in the center using the Align tool, horizontally and vertically. After all objects are really in the middle, then select all of them. Right click on the object. And click, make clipping mask. And we've punched holes in this vinyl, and now we're going to give it an edge for the vinyl. Now go back to the edit menu and paste. We need it now and we will use it as the vinyl outline. Give the stroke a dark gray color. And place it in the center of the artboard until it covers all the objects. Although the result is very simple, it can already represent the shape of vinyl, and the creation process is fairly quick and very easy. This method can be used to save time if you want to make a vinyl design quickly. Now, we are going to make the vinyl in the second way. First, I'm going to select all these elements on this vinyl and group them. Duplicate it and put it out off the artboard. As for this one, I still need it for a second vinyl design, so I no longer need to make it from scratch. That will save the duration of this tutorial video. Ungroup it before modifying it. Move this outline. Right click on vinyl and click, release clipping mask. Move this mask object out off the artboard because we'll need it later. If you don't see it that doesn't mean it's lost or erased, it just doesn't have a fill color and a stroke color, so it's invisible. To easily find it, you just need to point your cursor at the position of the small hole that was previously made, and you will find a blue guideline and click directly to select it. 
and without moving the cursor, just lift it out of there. After that, give it a color so we can find it easily. Now, we're just about to start making vinyl in the second way, and the process is completely different from the first one. First, I will delete this dark circle line, because in this second way we don't need it. And also delete these thin white lines because if you look closely, you will find inconsistent spacing between lines. The distance between the innermost lines is different from the distance between the outer lines. And that doesn't look realistic, because we wouldn't find it on real vinyl. And for this second method, we will make these lines have consistent spacing. Because the transform effect can't give the right result, so in this way, we no longer use it, and I will delete it first. So, to make lines with consistent spacing easily and quickly, is to use the blend tool. In order to use the blend tool, we need two circles to be blended. First, make the innermost circle. The same way as before, use the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift and alt key on the keyboard, and make a circle from the middle. Set the size like this. Then make a second circle in the same way with a larger size like this. After both circles are complete, select the Blend tool on the toolbar. Click one of the circles. And click the other one. After that, double-click the Blend tool to open the Blend Options panel. Change the spacing to specified distance, and set the value to 2 pixels. Click OK. And we will get a result like this. A consistent spacing between lines, so that we get more realistic results compared to the previous method. For the reflected light effect, we will make it a little more detailed. Just open the gradient panel. Since we've already created gradient colors before, so now we don't need to start from scratch. For this second vinyl design, you can adjust it by adding some color stops. Duplicate some of them and arrange them like this. Or you can experiment with other gradient models. Now we are going to add bold black lines to impress the boundaries between the tracks on the vinyl. And we're going to make it different from the previous vinyl. Select these thin lines then go to the object menu. Then select expand. And just click OK. After these two blended lines turn into separate lines, then double click to isolate. Or look for this button in the control panel overview for the same function. Select some lines at random and delete them. This time we don't make bold black lines but more simply we just delete some lines to get the same impression. For the cover I will give it a different color. The rest, we just give them a clipping mask like the previous vinyl. Duplicate the previous mask object by holding down the ALT key on the keyboard, and lifting it near to the vinyl, and don't place it onto the vinyl until this mask object is on top of all objects. Because if there is still an object above the mask object then it will not work, instead making the other object at the top as the mask object. Right click, arrange, and bring to front. After this object is at the top, place it in the middle of the vinyl, and do a clipping mask. The rest, just give the edge like the first vinyl. And we're done for the second vinyl, with a result like this. Now we're going to make the third vinyl a bit more realistic than the second vinyl. If you are new to this channel I will be very grateful if you become a part of this channel by becoming a subscriber. And don't forget to like, or share if this video is very helpful, and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me in the comment. Okay, let's go back to the tutorial on making vinyl in three ways in Adobe Illustrator. For this third vinyl, I'm also going to remove these circles first, as we'll be making this third vinyl different, but still using the previous vinyl base. For the cover I gave it a pink color. Now we're going to make these third vinyl stripes a little more realistic and less clunky in a very different way, and it's a least used technique for this kind of purpose. This time, I will start by creating the light reflection effect. This is different from the previous one where the light reflection effect we gave to the vinyl stripes, but for this third method, we will give it on this vinyl base first. Select this vinyl base circle. Then go to the swatches panel to give it the default black and white gradient color, right here. Then go to the gradient panel and change the gradient type to radial. After that, go to the object menu. Expand. In the expand panel, select gradient mesh. 
That way, the gradient color in this circle will be expanded into a gradient mesh. Click OK to see the result. Right-click this object. Select Ungroup. Right-click again, and select Release Clipping Mask. The circle you see now, turns into a big circle. Don't be surprised, because it's the effect of the gradient mesh we've given, and, it's in the mask. Find and delete the object that is the mask. Now, we have a circle with a circular mesh pattern, it's very different if we create a mesh with the mesh tool. The regular mesh tool only creates a mesh based on vertical and horizontal lines, but if we create a mesh in this way, the resulting mesh follows the circular pattern of the radial mesh that we set in the previous gradient panel. Now, we just need to add some mesh lines to give the impression of the light reflection. But previously I gave it a color that's almost black but not solid black and move all these centered objects temporarily. After that, just select the mesh tool on the toolbar to add some mesh lines. Create a new mesh line like this, or you can create another pattern. Just try to click it, right on the blue line to create a new mesh line. Because if you don't, you're just creating another additional mesh line, and that's going to make it hard to color. Now, use the Direct Selection tool to select the anchor points of the mesh. Select two anchor points whose lines are interconnected like this. Then open the Swatches panel and choose a lighter gray color. Do the same with the other anchor points. Do this alternately, so the impression is close to the actual vinyl. Next, we are going to create a stripe effect on this vinyl. The method is completely different from the previous two vinyl. We'll start by using the polygon tool to create the strips effect. Yes, we will create a vinyl stripe effect using a polygon object. I'll show you how these polygons work to create that line effect. But first, make sure the fill is none, and the stroke is a lighter gray color, and the stroke in one point. If you usually create geometry objects by clicking and dragging, or creating geometry object using numbers, even then it's very common and doesn't look cool. But there is a cool technique in Adobe Illustrator when it comes to creating objects in cool way. The trick, is to press and hold the tilde key on the keyboard. A key with a tilde symbol shaped like a worm. If you hold down the key, while creating a geometry object, as long as you hold down your left click and drag your cursor, the object will be created continuously until you release your left mouse click and the result can be like this. You can try it over and over again until you find different results depending on the cursor movement you make. Here, I did some experiments until I found the right pattern. Once done, select all these polygons and make them in one group. Now, it's time for us to make these polygons round. Open the Effects menu, Blur, and Radial Blur. In the Radial Blur panel, select Spin for the Blur method, and Best for Quality. As for the amount fill with 75, you can see the result, that all the objects are polygons with random sizes, now look like random circle lines. Position it in the center of the vinyl base circle. Then adjust the size according to the size of the vinyl base shape. Once the size is correct, open the transparency panel and change the blending mode from normal to overlay. This will blend the color of this line effect with the color of the mesh on the vinyl base circle. If you find this stripes effect too light or too dark then you can change the color in the swatches panel, because this really depends on the number of polygons that we created, the more polygons we create, the lighter the resulting line effect will be. And you can customize it by changing the color. And what's interesting about this technique is that you can play with any color other than grayscale color. And it will give a different effect. You can try it by experimenting with these colors. Now, you can reposition this cover back to the center by using the Align tool. But before that, you have to place it on top of all the previous objects. Just put it in the middle by using the Align tool. Next, to be safer, take back the mask object that we saved earlier. Right-click, Arrange, 
and bring to the front. Also position it in the middle. Right click again and create clipping mask. After that, we make the dividing lines between the tracks. Create two black circles using the ellipse tool. Use the blend tool to blend them. Double click the blend tool on the toolbar to open the blend options panel. Set the spacing to specified steps and fill it with three. Click OK. For the rest, you just need to add the same outline as the previous two vinyls. And now, I have shown you how to make a vinyl disc in three ways, from the simplest way with simple results to the most complicated way with more realistic results. Of these three methods, which do you think is better? Please give your answers in the comments, or you have questions about this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment. And if you're new to this channel, don't hesitate to be a part of this channel by subscribing and activating the notification bell, it's an encouragement for me to growing this channel. And if this Adobe Illustrator tutorial was useful, please like, share or save it for later. See you again in the next video.